Hi guys, Martin Pickering here from PickeringRC.com uh, and today we're bringing you the latest Powerbox Micro Match. Uh, a nifty little box which basically acts as a Y lead, but a very clever Y lead because not only does it change one channel into two, uh, but it allows you to independently adjust the two servos, both in the centers and the endpoints and even reverse. How it works? Very, very simple. In the same way as a normal Y lead, you have one channel going in, two channels going out, uh, with some very nice little clips on to make sure that the wires don't come loose accidentally. Okay, if we plug it in as normal, just being very careful of the polarity, plug those two in there, plug the other side into the receiver, we now have a working Y lead as you can see. Now to adjust those two servos we can do that either via Bluetooth with the Powerbox Bluecom adapter or by USB uh, through a computer. We're going to be doing it through the Bluecom. We simply plug that into the spare lead like so. Again making sure we get it the right way around. Very important. We turn on our tablet and open the app mobile terminal, which is available both for Android and Apple. It quickly checks for updates and we then search for the micro match, which is at the bottom there, and we quick connect. First screen is for the frame rate, which we are normally never going to use, so I'll just leave that as it is and go into servo matching. As you can see, here you have the two options for the servos, one each. However, they're greyed out because uh, we aren't allowed to use them yet. First, the micro match needs to know where the center is and where the endpoints are. Now to do this, we simply click on initialize channel and move the stick. So it, the center, it is recognized already without doing anything. Far left and far right. That's that done and exit initialize channel. As you can see now, both servo options have become available and if we wanted to reverse one of the servos, we can do so simply by swiping those little buttons. So at the moment they're both going in that direction, in basically the same direction as far as rotation is concerned. If we reverse one of them, like so, like that, they now rotate in opposite directions, but as you can see, visually they now work together. Now, to change the center and end points, we simply click on start. Now it will be doing the center points because we had the stick in the center. The stick no longer works anymore, and we simply adjust the end points, oh, sorry, the center points, by moving the little green dots on screen. Once we're happy with their positions, we click start again. It saves those positions in the center and it gives us back control of the servos. To do the end point, we do exactly the same. This time, however, we hold it to the end point that we want to adjust, click on start, it takes over control from us because it knows we want to do the end point. And again, simply move the little green dots as required to get to the end points that we desire. Once we're happy with that, click on start again. It gives us back control, but as you can see with those now adjusted endpoints, we would do the exact same thing again for the right hand side, hold it to the right, click start, adjust it, click start again, and then we're good to go. Does it need saving? No. Simply unplug the power and put it back into your model and uh, happy flying. We hope that you enjoyed this video, you found it uh, helpful. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel to keep updated with all the latest videos and news uh, and thank you very much for watching.